Now, you also, you can have a symptom that may work, have two disorders for it, and for that you have to really look at all the symptoms. For example, right now I have a, a, a cape and a CE activity um, for Northern Speech that is, you know, how do we treat patients? And in that first case, I have two people. You look at their swallow and they both have a lot of residue in the piriform situses and at the bottom of the pharynx. But one has a cervical spinal fusion at C4 and 5, and the other has a severe weakness in laryngeal lifting and upper sphincter opening, having had surgery for head and neck cancer. So their x-ray, if you look at the picture of that residue, not look at that whole x-ray, you will see they, they look alike. But when you look at laryngeal lifting, you look at airway closure, you look at all the details, they have very different disorders. The man with the fusion, uh, I took a little risk, which I often do, and I said to him, can you turn your head at all? Don't force it, just show me how much movement you have. And he had about, oh, 10 to 15 degrees. And I said, okay. Now the man had been non-oral, had been getting therapy elsewhere, and didn't feel he was getting any progress. He also was scheduled to come see me uh, at about a week after he called and had a stroke. A cort left cortical stroke, was aphasic, mild to moderately, had a severe word finding problem. But it, when his wife called me back, she said, we genuinely don't think his swallow has changed. And I hadn't seen him. So I said, fine, when he, how long will it be? Well, we'll come in, how about three weeks? Fine. So he came in, and I asked him about turning his head, just this much. Now, you don't want to force it, because you don't want to loosen that stabilization. But he was not eating anything, and he had a very bad gastrostomy. He had a peg that was not working well. I sent him over before he saw me to GI, and GI said, uh, this is the worst, te worst peg we've seen in a long time. you got to get him eating. I said, thank you so much. <laughs> that I already know. So uh, when he came in, I asked him about his turning, and so I had him do that in front of x -ray. Totally functional swallow when he turned his head to his left side. And so he went out eating. And he got rid of that gastrostomy within about three or four days. He gained weight, he did well, he went into therapy for his aphasia, and he's been eating well for now a couple of years.